So we have a reduction. And that gives us an algorithm because we have an algorithm to solve the underlying problem, the one we're reducing to. That gives us an algorithm to solve the original problem. So that takes us to challenging our approach. Carefully run our algorithm on our instance abo instances above. Don't skip steps. Don't make assumptions. Analyze its correctness and its performance on these instances. And then design instances to challenge the correctness or performance of the algorithm. So I'm going to assume that you've taken a little while to look at this reduction. Remember, we're adding fake women. We're putting them at the end of the men's preference lists. Uh, we're giving them arbitrary preference lists. And then when we get the solution from Gail Shapley, we're removing all the pairs that have fake women. So let's go way back up to our trivial instances. OK. So for, for our trivial instances where nw is equal to 0, however many men there are, we'll add that many fake women. We'll run SMP. SMP will pair everyone up. And it doesn't really matter how it pairs everyone up, because when we're done, we will remove every single pairing, and we will indeed be left with the empty set, because all the women will be fake. Uh, in terms of performance, that's got pretty awful performance, right? Uh, Gail Shapley runs in n squared time, where n is the size of the set m, and it's the size of the set w. It's, it's actually asymptotically optimal for solving the stable marriage problem. Uh, but in this case, it's going to run in nm squared time. So when nw is very small, then, uh, then this reduction is, is, is pretty bad. If we have a, a, a billion men and zero women, uh, we're going to spend a long, long time solving this problem that we, we probably don't need to spend. OK, uh, how about when nw is equal to 1? OK, when nw is equal to 1, we might have many, many men. We have one woman. We add all of the men to, sorry, all the fake women to the instance, one fewer than the number of men. Their preference lists are arbitrary. Uh, the men put the fake women at the end, so every single man is still going to have woman one as his first preference, but he'll have uh, some arbitrary mix-up of the fake women after that. And woman one will still have her preferences that she had before. Uh, so what we want to know, because because we've decided this this is trivial, we've decided the solution is always that woman one should marry whoever her first preference is. Will SMP do that? Well, the answer is yes. This is something that we've talked about in class before, right? If we have a man whose top choice is a woman, and her top choice is that man, they will marry each other. Well, every man's top choice is the one real woman. And the one real woman's top choice is whatever man she picks. And so Gail Shapley has to pair that woman with the man who is her top choice. Eventually, that man who's her top choice will propose to her, and she's either unengaged and she'll marry him, or she's engaged to someone she likes less, and she'll break it off with that man and marry him. And then she's never going to break it off again, because remember, her partners get better and better over the course of the Gale Shapley algorithm. Well, she's already got the best partner, so she will end there. Now, all the fake women will bounce around among the real men that are left over, and they'll make some pairings. But we're going to remove all those pairings, right? And the one pairing we'll be left with is exactly the one we want. So that sounds pretty good. And in particular, it starts giving me a sense of maybe this reduction will actually work, because maybe what will happen is since all of the men shove the fake women to the end of their list, the, the top preferences of the women, the real women, will end up getting married somehow to the existing women, and then all the other men will get lumped in with the fake women. What order they get lumped in with the fake women, as that, that'll depend on this arbitrary ordering that we're creating for the men and the women. And who knows what it'll be. But we kind of don't care, because we'll end up deleting all of that garbage and be left with just the pairings for the real women. Uh, so, so that's a promising start. Let's, let's actually try it with our small instance here. Uh, so I'm going to take this small instance, and I'm going to carry it down here. 
and I'm going to run Gail Shapley on it, and I'll run Gail Shapley after adding a W3. Here's my W3. I'm actually going to call her WF for fake, since there's only one fake woman. Okay. Uh, so WF, we said arbitrary, so I'm just going to say one, two, three among the men. And the men, remember, they'll just put F at the end. So man one is one, two, F. Man two is two, one, F. Man three is one, two, F. Okay, so Gail Shapley will run. Uh, I'll start with the first man and I'll run down. Uh, Gail Shapley will, here, let's take man one, man two, man three, woman one, woman two, woman F. I'm really gonna wish for an eraser soon. Uh, man one will first propose to woman one. I'm gonna make this a uh, dashed line here. He'll propose to woman one, she'll accept because she's unengaged, even though he's actually last on her preference list. If we if we look up here, he's last on her preference list. That's okay. Uh, man one's happy now, so man two will propose. He'll propose to woman two because she's first on his preference list. Woman two will accept. Again, man two is last on her preference list, but who cares? Uh, man three will now propose to woman one She's per first on her preference list, and she actually prefers uh, man three to man one, so she will break off her engagement. We'll make this a darker line, since I can't erase. Okay, so now man three is engaged to woman one, and man one is available again. He's already proposed to woman one, so now he's gonna try proposing to woman two. Aha, and woman two likes man one a lot. That's her top preference. So she's going to break off her engagement to man two. There we go. And let's see, now man two has proposed to woman two. He's free again. Uh, he will propose to woman one next. Okay, uh, so he proposes to woman one. Uh, woman one is engaged to man three. We can see that from this, this dark line leading down towards man three down here from woman one. Uh, so man two proposes to her. Uh, she's engaged to man three. Oh, and she likes man two. Oh no, so now we need an even darker line. Okay. There's an even darker line between these two. Sorry about this. Okay, so she's gonna break it off with man three. Now man three is available again. Uh, he has proposed to woman one. He will uh, propose to woman two. Woman two is married to man one. Man three proposes to woman two, uh, but woman two does not prefer man three to man one. Woman, woman two's happy where she is. So man three will propose to woman two and that'll fail. So now remember, we've gone through ostensibly his list. We've gone through woman one and woman two. He's also got F on there. So he'll propose to woman F and he will marry woman F. He'll be engaged to woman F and in fact, uh, we'll see soon uh, that he will marry woman F. Okay, so we're going to end up like this. And at this point, man one is engaged, man two is engaged, man three is engaged, no one is available. Gail Shapley terminates, and we make these the marriages. And we will give back uh, M1 paired with W2, M2 paired with W1, and M3 paired with a fake woman. Our algorithm will then take that SMP solution. It'll strip off the, the fake marriage down at the bottom, and it'll say man one is paired with woman two, Man two is paired with woman one. And that's where it'll conclude. Uh, and I think, yeah, 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 take a look. Here's our solution from before. And that is exactly our solution from before. Uh, so why did it work out? Um, well, all the men were, remember, proposing down the line, right? So none of the men is gonna propose to a fake woman until he has been rejected by every single real woman. Right? That's what we saw here. Man 3 didn't get to the fake woman uh, until he had given up on all of the real women. Well, they'd given up on him anyway. Okay, And that'll be true no matter how many men and women we have. Right, Every single man who gets down to one of the fake women will already have tried his luck on every one of the real women. So that sounds good. That sounds like it might avoid instability even. Uh, let's let's jump back down. 
we did carefully run our algorithm on our instances above, and it then says we need to design an instance that specifically challenges the correctness uh, or performance of our algorithm. We talked a little bit about how to make the performance bad. We just have a lot more men than women, and then our reduction will make us do a bunch of extra work. Um, but, but actually, that's not quite what we're looking for here. So I'm going to cross this out. This step doesn't quite match what we want. It's not always going to be what we want. Uh, I think what we want to do is actually prove stability, right? We'd like to prove the solution is stable. Because if the solution is stable, then our reduction produces a correct algorithm, right? Uh, so how do we prove that our solution is stable? Um, we've kind of got an insight, which is that any man that reaches a fake woman has already been rebuffed by all the women available. Um, what do we know about the uh, stable matches that Gail Shapley produces? Uh, well, we know if men propose, then they end up with their best valid partner in any stable matching. Uh, so, so any man, note, any man who ends up with a fake woman after Gail Shapley has no valid, remember valid from section 1.1, .1, a valid partner is a partner who is a partner of the man in some stable solution. So if he's got no valid partner better than a fake woman, what it means is there's no stable solution where he's married to a real woman. So after GS has no valid partner, he prefers. Now his preferences over the fake women are arbitrary. So we may have discovered that you know he can't be paired with some fake woman that he supposedly prefers to the fake woman that he's married to. That doesn't really matter. Crucially, crucially, that means since all of the real women are preferred to the fake women, he has no valid well, look at all these quotes. Real, non-fake, partner in any stable solution. So there's actually no way to pair this man up with a real woman without producing an instability. Now the question arises, are those instabilities actually instabilities in the unequal stable marriage problem? They're, they're SMP instabilities, but those instabilities can involve fake women. Right, so, so is such an instability actually meaningful uh, in uh, in uh, USMP? Uh, well, let's see. What might an instability look like? It's going to involve a man and a woman who are not married, and their partners. The man and the woman who are not married will prefer each other to their partners. Right, so there are lots of ways that we can have fake women in here. Right. The woman who produces the instability can be fake, or the partner of the man who produces the instability can be fake, or they can both be fake. Okay, so consider, let's just pick one of these instabilities. Um, I feel like if a fake woman produces an instability, that's probably not relevant. So let's look at uh, an instability Consider an instability caused by some man MI and a fake woman WJ. Okay. An instability caused by MI and a fake woman WJ. So you know, MI is married to somebody, uh, W prime, and WJ is married to somebody, uh, M prime, okay? Uh, but these two would rather be married to each other. 
than the people that they're married to. So MI would rather be married to WJ than W prime. MI would rather be married to fake woman WJ than W prime. Can W prime be real? No, W prime can't be real because MI prefers every real woman to every fake woman. So if MI prefers WJ to W prime, then W prime is fake. Uh, then MI is married to a fake woman because he prefers a fake woman to his partner. Okay, um, and I should really write here that he prefers a fake woman to his partner and our construction ensures that he never prefers a fake woman to a real woman. So is this a problem? Um, I mean, let's think about what we care about. What we actually want to show is that the SMP solution that we get back is going to produce a valid USMP solution. And remember, both of these women here, we just determined they're both fake. So actually, both of these pairings are going to be removed, right? Um, so whether or not there's an instability like that, this, this pairing will never happen. Uh, in USMP because these two fake women will be removed from the problem and their their marriages will be removed from the solution. Uh, so uh, these instabilities are they're kind of irrelevant, right? Because both women are fake. So that leaves us with the other kind of instability. Remember, I said there was another possibility. I'm just going to carry this on down below, repeat here. Hmm. I feel a little tangled up here. Let's go back and remind ourselves what we're actually doing. What we're actually doing is trying to prove that the USMP solution will be stable, given that the SMP solution will be stable. We know the SMP solution is stable in this particular case, because we know Gail Shapley will produce a stable solution. But even if we didn't have Gail Shapley, when you're doing a reduction, you assume that for the problem you're reducing to, you have a correct algorithm to solve it. So we'd get to assume that the SMP solution was stable, even if we didn't know how to solve SMP yet. Okay, so we know the SMP solution is stable. We want to prove that the USMP solution is stable. So given SMP stable, I'm going to prove USMP stable because we already showed that it was valid. When we delete the fake pairings, we end up with exactly one pairing for each of the women in the USMP problem and at most one for each of the men. So that part's good. We just need to prove that the USMP solution is stable. Okay. Uh, what we're doing right now is we're investigating the instabilities that can occur in a solution to an SMP problem. And what we found is that this particular instability is irrelevant. If it occurs in the solution to an SMP problem, there's no corresponding instability in the USMP problem. Okay, But this isn't quite what we're going for. We're going to assume there are no instabilities. So what we want to show is if none of these sorts of things happen, then the USMP problem also has no instabilities by its definition. Right? Um, so this instability doesn't correspond to a USMP instability. What about the other possibilities? If they correspond to USMP instabilities, then what we're going to want to be able to say is every USMP instability that could occur is covered by one of these SMP instabilities. Because we know none of the SMP instabilities occur. So if we know none of the SMP instabilities occur, and every USMP instability will manifest itself in an SMP instability, then we also know none of the USMP instabilities will occur. Right? So in essence, we want to show that the USMP instabilities are, are kind of a subset of the SMP instabilities, the way we've set up these solutions. So because it's a subset, it's okay that our first case that we investigated was totally irrelevant. Those are the SMP instabilities that don't correspond to any USMP instability. 
But what about an instability? Uh, so let's do the really simple case. Uh, an instability with no fake women. Okay, so an instability in SMP with no fake women involved. That means, uh, look, looking back at the diagram in the upper right here, that means MI and WJ are, in, are not engaged to each other, sorry, not married to each other, I should say, uh, but they prefer each other to their partners. Uh, both their partners are real. Of course, M prime is real, but W prime is real as well. That means that this particular pairing will carry back up to the USMP instance and indeed, uh, MI will really prefer WJ to W prime because that must have been part of its real preference list, his real preference list, because the fake women at the end uh, are stripped off. We're back in the USMP world, uh, but he still has the real women in the same order. So he still prefers WJ to W prime. And WJ always had the same preference list in the USMP problem and in the corresponding SMP problem. So she's going to prefer MI to M prime in the USMP world, just like she does in the SMP world. So this instability in SMP with no fake women involved, corresponds directly to a USMP instability. of the SMP style, right? Remember, we defined a USMP instability to be either an SMP instability or this case where a man is unmarried and a woman would prefer to be married to him rather than her partner. So those two correspond to each other. I didn't actually prove the other direction of that. But if we do have an instability in USMP in the SMP style, then again, uh, the women's preference list carry across unchanged to the USMP instance. The men's preference list have fake women at the end, but that has no impact on their relative ordering of the women, the real women that we're concerned about. And so this will still represent an instability. So this really goes both directions. So what about, there's one last case that's possible here. What about an instability in SMP where, again, using the notation from the uh, diagram in the upper right here, um, we already said if WJ is fake, then W prime has to be fake, okay? So we're not gonna say WJ is fake and W prime isn't. That's not possible. But W prime might be fake while WJ isn't. So where W prime is fake, but WJ is not. What about that? An instability in SMP where W prime is fake, but WJ is not fake. How does that correspond to a USMP instability? Well, if we take that diagram in the upper right and we project it now back to USMP, W prime is fake, which means we'll delete the marriage of MI to W prime. So in USMP, MI is unmarried, but M prime is married to WJ, right? M prime is still married to WJ because WJ is real, and so that marriage is carried forward. So then, is this a USMP instability? We have MI who's unmarried, but WJ still prefers MI to M prime. Remember, WJ's preferences didn't change. W prime disappeared completely because she's fake now, but WJ's preference list stays the same. So this is still, this is a, an instability of the USMP style, right? The new style of instability. And if we had such an instability in a USMP solution, so we've just shown that instabilities in uh, SMP where W prime is fake, but WJ is not, those correspond to these instabilities in USMP. If we have an instability in USMP, an unmarried man, and then this, 
this other woman WJ is married to M prime and WJ prefers MI to M prime, what will that look like in the SMP solution that we start with? Well, the SMP solution must have had M prime married to WJ, right? Because WJ was real. MI must have been married to some fake woman. And the only thing we need to fill in is that MI prefers WJ to W prime. We've, we've got all the other pieces of the picture in the upper right. We've got that WJ prefers MI to M prime because that doesn't change between the USMP world and the SMP world. Uh, we've got that uh, M prime is married to WJ. We've got that MI is married to W prime. W prime is just some fake woman that he's married to. Since he's unmarried in USMP, he must be married to a fake woman in the SMP solution. And we would remove that when we made it a USMP solution. Okay, so all that we need is that MI prefers WJ to W prime and W prime is fake. So MI does prefer WJ to W prime. And that means that such an instability in USMP would show as an instability in SMP. So what we've just shown is that if there were an instability in the USMP solution, it would have shown up as an instability in the SMP solution in the USMP style. And also, if there were an instability in the USMP solution of the SMP style, it would have shown up as an instability in SMP. Okay, so because any instability in USMP would have shown up as an instability in SMP, and we know there are no instabilities in SMP, then that means there really are no instabilities in USMP. So check, this is a working algorithm for solving USMP.